Salutations, this is a crazy spider here. If by chance you're interested in the weekend warfare for Modern Warfare Remastered, which is prop hunt this weekend on April 1st weekend, quite fitting, uh, I'm here to give you a bunch of tips involving how this game actually functions within Modern Warfare Remastered. As prop hunt has been a modded game mode in a lot of different games, everything from Gary's Mod to the original Call of Duty 4, and it's had various different shapes and forms as to how it's worked. Raven Software has added their own variant of prop hunt to the game, and I'm going to explain to you a lot of the features that you may or may not know about within Prop Hunt. So let's get to it. So let's talk about the bread and butter of the game mode, the props themselves. What can they do, what can't they do, and how do they actually work? One of the more interesting things about the props is their movement hitbox, how they move and what they do, and their shootable hitbox is different. Meaning, what you visually see of them is actually what you can shoot. However, the props can only move around like a normal player. Meaning, if they're a very, very small prop, they can't actually get underneath tables or do things that a player couldn't normally do. So, they can only exist as a prop within the same play space that any other player can get to. So, if you're a player and you can get to it, a prop can too, but a prop can't get somewhere where you can't. So let's talk about some other controls props have. Props have the ability to change prop. However, they can only change twice per round. Every player starts off as a random prop on the map, and they're allowed to change to another random prop twice during the round. So, if you start off as a barrel and you really don't want to be a barrel, you have the ability to change to a different random prop, but you could be anything from a chair to a street lamp to a crate. You don't really know what you're going to get, and you've wasted that change. Because if you change while you're being chased, you might be able to scurry away and hide while they're looking for what you used to be. And this is an important and fun way to escape. Another fun ability that props have is the ability to instantly flashbang at their feet. They can do this once per prop change, meaning you get one at the beginning of the game, and then every time you change prop, you get it again. If you flashbang and you drop a flashbang at your feet, instantly disorienting all enemies around you, you can use this to escape or just to annoy people if you want to. So as a prop, you have the ability to change what you look like, as well as flashbang a potential attacker. But let's talk about how you can actually blend in and hide in plain sight as a prop. In MWR, you have two separate abilities that allow you to blend in a little easier than in some other games. The first ability is to lock into place. This allows you to lock into whatever orientation you are currently facing. This allows you to better blend into your environment and fine tune exactly where you're located. You can even lock in midair, but it's generally pretty obvious that you're a prop if you're a floating lamppost. And the last ability is a complement to your lock ability. It allows you to match slope. This scans the ground below you and puts your prop as if it was level on that ground, allowing you to be a street lamp or a stop sign that actually looks like it's properly attached to the ground and not just standing perfectly straight up. Now, if you're on flat ground, this really won't look like it does anything. This only really matters if you are on an angled surface. Less helpful, but still interesting to note, the props actually have the ability to zoom in and out using their D-pad. So if you press left on the D-pad, you'll zoom in, and if you push right on the D-pad, you'll zoom out. This allows you to better view yourself, especially if you're a larger prop. You know, it's going to be, your whole screen is going to be taken up by your big propness. Lastly, the props actually have the ability to spectate one another while alive. So if you actually press down on the D-pad, you can rotate through the other props that are alive. If you're feeling super confident in your spot and you feel like, yeah, they'll never find me, you can go watch your other prop friends run around. And lastly, for the props, the biggest difference between Modern Warfare Remastered's Prop Hunt and other prop hunts out there, which is whistling. In Modern Warfare Remastered's Prop Hunt, all props will whistle about every 20 seconds. When this happens, there's an alert that you can see it in the upper right-hand corner for both props and hunters, so they can be ready and ready to listen to see if they can figure out where the props are. This is probably due to balance to actually give the hunters a better chance of finding the props, considering the maps are so large and there are so many items strewn about on the maps. So as a hunter, you want to be wearing headphones so you can ideally hear where the props are in audio sound. Surround sound would be ideal, but that's not always an option for most people. So if you can, and you have a pair of headphones, and you want to actually listen in to really hear the props, that will help you out immensely. So being a hunter in prop hunt is very difficult. You have to be very observant, know the maps very well, and understand when something is or is not out of place. Ideally, the hunters will communicate, and they spread out, they talk to each other, and they can call it where props are as they hear the whistles. That allows them to hunt down props and more adequately uh, eliminate them from the game. There aren't a lot of very good tips from the hunters outside of take your time, remember you have two weapons, a P90 and a Deagle, and make your shots count because you don't have to worry about getting shot. All you have to do is make sure you hit the props. The hunter's job is really very simple. Find the props and shoot them. 
It can be difficult though. So don't take it too seriously. This game mode is intended to be fun and silly. It's not really all that competitive, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. I hope you have a great April Fool's weekend and have a good time out there with Prop Hunt.